come on. Ooh, what is this right here? <laughs> Ooh, wow. Silver scrap that was sent to the University of California Lawrence Livermore Lab. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, we are here and we are about to do something exciting and that is to go through some of this $34,500 storage unit that I bought at auction. If you've missed how it cost me $34,500, don't forget to check the playlist out. If you believe I overpaid because I haven't shown you everything or you're not seeing it all add up, um, I love you. So far we've sold maybe two one or two percent of this storage unit we've already hit about forty six hundred dollars in sales between youtube auction and ebaying taking my time i'm going to make sure this unit hits maximum profit but i will walk you through the entire unit so you understand everything i bought i've only shown probably what i call the worstest of stuff because as you go through if you see stuff labeled for ebay etc etc you know that the packages are gonna be good, but you need to focus on the other stuff and alleviate that stuff so you can separate it, get it out the window, and focus on the goods. Let's get started. Please be a box of classic concert t-shirts. Jazzercise, hot topic. Oh, what's the hot topic today? We got a nice little shirt, brand new shirt, all right. We got some of these, let's look. Interesting, what is this? Socks, spandex socks. We got a brand new hat from Hot Topic. We got a brand new bra from Hot Topic. We got spandex pants. Those are kind of cute. Ooh, it's like Tiger King right there. All right. Then we have a used top. Yep. All right, so far, so good. Continuing on, another brand new top. Vintage Vanity Fair, look at that. 26 bucks at Macy's. We got wall coal. We got a used one, a used one. All sorts of, no, not just new and used. All right, panties. Like we haven't seen enough of that lately. Let's keep that going clothes for days we got a whole bag of clothes right here look at all this brand new pieces of clothing right here bras and panties this is gonna be interesting we got so many of this stuff okay. more brand new clothes this stuff adds up if you, if you just figure if i got 10 bucks a piece on clothes and i had a thousand pieces of clothes how much is that Vanity Fair, see this stuff right here. You look up a piece of vintage Vanity Fair and you look up the price and then you'd be boggled by what some of it sells for. This is probably late 80s, early 90s here. It's a whole bag of brand new panties, Vanity Fair, etc., etc. Size 36B if anybody's interested. Imagine that, we got more. More, more, more. We got Another bag of brand new body suede wall cool. So these are one piece onesies. Then you come in here and what do we have here? Two packages. Nope, this one is empty. But in here is a package. What was bought? One step ahead. One step ahead. And then we have a receipt. What's the receipt for? One step ahead. So this is a $99 bag. There's four pieces in there total of 113 and just this one envelope right here by the way i have over a thousand envelopes to open a thousand packages a lot of people are asking me like why do you go through everything like this pirate just show us the goods but the fact is um most people want to see everything and i try to give you guys a walkthrough of storage front to back 
I'm not one of those YouTubers who want to show you only money shots. It's very a big misconception if you're teaching people to buy storage units that you glamorize everything. Putting every good thing in one box and making it look like it was all in one box or removing all the trash and not wanting people to see that you bought something ugly but underneath was treasure, et cetera, et cetera, is deceiving. I have to be a man of genuineness and authenticity and I need you all to understand what it's like to buy a storage unit front to back. I, I walk you through it for that reason, not because I'm at a desperation for videos or because I want you to believe everything is gold, silver, and gems. It's very important that you see all aspects of a storage unit. Well, gold, silver, and gems doesn't mean it's gold, silver, and gems because you could find a jacket worth a thousand bucks and I would call that gold. Something like maybe this could be 50, 70 bucks. You don't know. White Stag Action Sports. Something like this <laughs> is a hundred bucks right here. This is Stanford chalk line, made in USA, size medium. This is well over a hundred dollar jacket right here. Well over a hundred, probably late seventies, early eighties easily. But that is a hundred dollar bill. That will end up in a different pile than the rest of the stuff. As long as well as this, check this out. Oilers. This is hockey, I believe. But look at the look at the tag on that. Made in USA. Vintage sports jerseys are one of the hottest items on the internet. Believe it or not. Very, very valuable. What do we have here? She male encounters 120. She male encounters. All right, those are eight millimeter horn. Interesting. Then we have Come on, Oakland Raiders, logo number seven. This is a very vintage shirt here. Probably at least 25, 30 bucks. Then you have this right here, look at this. Not the jacket that's underneath or the piece underneath. Well, let's look at that first. Alpha, unsure about that. But this piece right here, medium. Oakland Raiders, not a huge fan, but I can tell you that right there is probably 50 to 100 bucks. Doesn't even have a tag on it, but it's got a patch. Oh, it's weathered. The string ripped out. That increased the value heavily right there. Continuing on, continuing on. Another one of these, Pinto. I'm guessing he liked Pintos. G scale train, nope, uh, this is apartment 56. Ooh, 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 look at that. Jeff Gordon. Ooh, look at that, Jeff Gordon. I see, we, I feel a, a YouTube auction lot coming up. Jeff Gordon. Imagine that, that's not Jeff Gordon, but still. Very, very collectible. Let's set that aside here and let's continue on. What else do we got? We got random plastic bags. We got a light. That's not significant value. That's not significant value. Straws. Books, books, books. Ooh, a flamingo cookie cutter. Those are very nice. Client services letter. I don't know what's in here, so we're just gonna go ahead and open this up and see. Department 56 is my guess. Wow. This must be adult proof. Must be adult proof. No, it is a train. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> Gene Simmons, Hawthorne Village. That right there. That is money. Okay. 
Train's adding up. Train's adding up. I've got a lot of people in the comments section these last couple weeks. Pirate, you're an idiot. You spent money on a bunch of crap or you got nothing but cheap trains. And it's like, it cracks me up the things that people say out of spite or I don't know what it is. Anger, hostility. What it is is leading people up to be so negative. But. Cabela's 1999. Brand new shirt. Put that in the clothes section. A vintage A's blanket. That is money. Made machine wash. Perfection promo made in China, but it's still vintage. Come over here. What do we have? Crown maple. Sealed. Crown royal maple. That's got to have some type of value. I probably won't drink it. It's not my brand. Shower gel. Okay. Hair dye. Imagine that. There was so much hair dye in this unit. I don't even know what to what to do with the hair dye. Come on, gold. Fight like a girl. Fifty of Super Bowl. And two more things of hair dye. And then you come in here. Let's see. We got magazine, magazine, magazine. Ooh, scrapbook. 1931-1932. That could be interesting. Then we have some more military things. Look at this. Navy man. Ooh. Look at that. CV-63. Airplane mechanic. Alright. Let's see what's in this scrapbook from 1931 and 32. I don't know. A newspaper. Yankees. The Army. We got somebody's identification card. Okay. War Department and a note. What's this to? Dear Jim, wanted to get Rad's watch to saw in the few personal papers I had here. I'll get around to going through some things in storage one of these months. For the most part, most I have raised things in storage. This is clothes I know. There are pictures. I remember the crackled. Okay. So, that is intriguing. Let's continue on. Look at all these signatures of military servicemen. Rays from the purple. A scrapbook at activities at Union High School and Junior College. All right. So, this is interesting. I don't know what to do with this. You got some photos. I guess I'll probably put this in a YouTube auction pile. I'll be ready. But let's see what they are. Valencia, multifunctional cat travel bag. And another one, a multifunctional made of durable. That looks like a water bottle holder. YouTube auction stuff. We have. What are these? I don't know. They just say 39. Fab. Look at this brand right here. Fabletics. These are $39. They're t shirts. This one as well, $39, $64.95 on this one, so that must be the matching pin. Fabretics is very pricey from what I understand because I've been seeing nothing but prices of them. Fila, $45 for Fila long sleeve performance tees. Pricey stuff. Then you come in here and we got $40 for the Fila skimmer printed Maui skimmer. Also very pricey stuff. Then we also have this brand new, that's not brand new is it? We'll set that aside because that doesn't look new. And I only want new stuff in these boxes. We got newspapers. Let's come under here. Fabletics, no. Wig collection, no. All right. I love Fabletics. Fabletics because this stuff is pricey. I'll take all of it I can get. What do you got here? It's a three-piece suit. 
This is probably, let's see a tag. Let's find a tag for us to look at. This one piece says $49.95. And there's two, one more piece here. $49, that's a, over a $100 set right there. Not a bad box in my eyes. Not a bad box. In my eyes, we've seen almost a thousand dollars in stuff on eBay. But we will continue on. Oh, here we go. G scale horse uh, cows. Moo. Moo. That's a good 20 bucks on eBay. Is there anything in here? At least it's open. No, it's open, open. I'm fine too filming this stuff because I've been finding money and, and all sorts of envelopes and things of that nature. Funny, I had somebody tell me the other day, I find more money than anybody on the internet. I have to be staging my boxes. Got me cracking up. Fact is, I don't buy units to make YouTube videos. I make YouTube videos of making money on storage units. That's the big difference of the storage auction pirate. Not saying that I know of anybody in particular who does that on YouTube or that people do that, but I can promise you that not everybody on there is telling you the real deal. And I will not be put in that category. Panties. I distance myself from those that I think are not doing the job to the best of their ability and being. not transparent look at that that is a nice little stand maybe there's something nice in here that goes with that almost knocked that over Ooh, look at this come on train come on big money we got one train we got two trains these look like at least $10 bills to me. And we got two more. They say five on them, but this, you have to remember, this stuff was purchased a decade ago. All right, we got tons of brand new panties here. $4.95, when was this purchased? A pair. This was purchased in 2010. Look at that, one more panties, just one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pairs of brand new Hanes panties. And then you got some of this stuff here. Shaping briefs, nine bucks a pair. Not bad though. Let's see what we have here. We got a box. What do you think's inside of this box? I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm guessing some type of clothes. No, nope, I'm guessing train. I changed my guess. Please be another $800 train that we've been finding a bunch of. Ooh, what do we have here? All right, hold on a second. Let's move this box. Let's do this. Let's come down like that. Postage stamp trains. Those are very valuable, believe it or not. Roundhouse. I see every one of these as at a minimum $10 bill. Even though they see how they see several of the same ones, that to me symbolizes 30 bucks. Cool, look at that. Lifelike Milwaukee. That right there symbolizes 40 bucks to me. Oh, yes. Another 10. Another 10. Another 10. Another 10. And we got three more $10 bills right here. I'm digging it. In my world, that's a $200 box because this is 20 to 30 minimum. Then you got this one of 40, 50, and these are all $10 each. That is a $200 box right there. We have opened up only three plastic totes. And I'm telling you, that's over $1,000 in eBay merchandise. Point blank, period, over $1,000 in three plastic totes. Now, let's go see if we can get something exciting here. Come on, $1,000 train. Come on, 
very rare item. Come on. Ooh, what is this right here? <laughs> Lionel. This was originally purchased for $522. I'm going to show you right now. Strasburg. Mm, 2.6 260 that is the locomotive wheels 260 means two in the front six in the middle zero in the back mogul convention steam locomotive wow i'm not going to pull it out of this box because i don't want to compromise that but what we're going to do real quick is we're going to look that up on ebay and we are going to see for ourselves so far i'm not finding anything that matches this because it is so rare because you type in lionel on the number right there we'll try again lionel Strasburg. If we type in Lionel Strasburg, we go on the highest to soldest to the highest price. They don't even have one like ours. I'm gonna have to get back on this one, but my guess is this. I'm gonna tell you this. If it is 500 bucks. Ooh, wow. You guys just saw all that happen. We're losing money right If this was purchased in da, 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 doesn't say most likely at least 10 years ago, it's definitely gone up in value. I could tell you this this train right here is either 500 to a thousand dollars. That's my speculation. All right, this is one of the bags of fell. So let's go ahead and look through here and see what the universe was telling us. Everything wants to fall on us. Oh, interesting. What is this? Packing list. One guard part number. Oh. University of the lab, silver disc, six inch silver vanadium disc, six inch diameter, bag of silver machine scraps, guard, part number. Interesting. Something in here was $1,000 right there. That is silver right there. That is a, that is a bag of precious metal right there. That is like silver scrap, literally silver scrap that was sent to the University of California Lawrence Livermore lab. I am unsure about what this is all about, but interesting. There's something that costs a thousand bucks and I want to find that. So we have a bag of silver, silver vanadium discs, bag of silver machine scraps. Wow. <laughs> What? We got an outhouse. What do we have here? Okay, we got a bra. $25.99, May and Maliala. That will go in our panties box. That will go there. And then we have all sorts of things. I'm trying not to get everything all messed up. There's some of the stuff in here, Phil. So we got little figures. We got an Ertl. We got a limited edition Liberty Classic, Liberty Models. We got a 1994 limited edition shell. We got another one like that. And we got a lot of figures here. And we got a car that this one kind of got. I hope it's fine. Ertl. So, we got a bunch of random little parts here. Farm stuff, figures. Who would like to see this box right here by itself, just auctioned as it is? I would take this box and I would auction it and sell everything in one lot. Ooh, is that a hearse? Sold. Studebaker. Replicas. All right. Who wants to see something like this on the YouTube auction? This whole box like this, all those little pieces as is. Let me know in the comments section. This fell out of the sky, so let's go ahead and go through this. We have a jazzercise purse, so cute. 
a napkin. That's gross. We got tea and garbage. We got a watch. We got some random little things that we will put. Seattle Thunderbird. Stuff like this goes in lots on our YouTube auction as well. And then you have this, James L. Smith. What is this? I don't know. This looks like a uh, fraternal. Is this, is this military or is this one of those fraternities like the Freemasons or the I word? I'm interested to know about this hat. Let me know in the comments section. It says 32, so that, I think that is Freemasons. With that, a shadow of doubt, everything you've seen right here, this being 500 to 1,000, there being 200 in that box, there being another 100 there, at least with the Kish train, we're looking at what? We're looking at eight, plus all this clothes. To my eyes, there is $1,500 just in that table and what's right there. Once again, we're just striking gold. Gold is not always in the form of a precious mineral, but is items you can put on eBay, Poshmark, YouTube auction, whatever the case may be, and you turn it into cold, hard cash. And that is what this unit is going to bring long-term, 34,500. Don't forget to check the full playlist out. I love y'all. See you tomorrow. Blessings.